now we are learning the circular queue but first of all to understand the circular queue i am giving a small glimpse of the queue we know that there is example given of a array which is acting like a queue and we know that whenever the array is taken then there are some positions on which we place the elements just like 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now the queue always has the front and rear insertion always take place from the rear side that means if we has to insert some elements then it will be from the rear side let us suppose we are inserting few elements like we insert 7 so 7 will come here then if i say 9 then again 9 will come then 3 so 3 is coming here then 5 so again 5 comes here then 7 then 7 come here so this way we can insert the elements from the rear side of the queue now afterward if i want to delete some element then it will be deleted from the front side so from front we are going to delete the elements so let us suppose first of all we have deleted the 7 that means we have taken out the 7 from the queue So seven is not present. Now we are deleting the nine. So nine is not the part of queue now. Let us suppose one more element we are deleting. That is three. So three is not the part of queue now. That means these first three spaces are blank and the last six spaces blank. Now see one more thing. If we want to insert one more element, then we know that insertion take place from the rear side and deletion take place from the front side. so i am inserting one more element let us suppose 7 here or maybe 6 we take so 6 we are taking so 6 is taken here now the thing is very interesting this is the normal queue now if i has to insert one more element let us suppose the element i want to insert is 2 that i cannot insert here so element 2 cannot be inserted into the queue the reason is that because always from the rear side we are going to insert the element that means from this side we want to insert the element and here there is no space so no space remaining because the last spaces 4 5 and 6 are already filled but is it actually no space available the space is available you can see that space is available in 1 2 and 3 blocks so these position are having the spaces but because of the restriction that we can only insert from the rear side that's why we cannot insert the next element so that is a problem and the solution of this problem is the circular queue circular queue means we are going to connect the last block with the first block so there is a pointer which is going to point from the last block to the first block whenever there is such case it is called the circular queue and here you see if i has to insert the next element next element will be inserted to the first block because after the rear if i say it is coming back to the one so that means the next element 2 will be inserted here in this block so this is possible now so that is the advantage of circular queue and because of that circular queues are invented so now our whole discussion will be on the circular queue now we are discussing the circular queue now suppose that we are having few elements which are present into the queue like this is 7 6 5 then 3 2 and 1 now this is a circular queue and here we are having front and rear so we know that whosoever is the first element that is called the front and whosoever is the last element that is called the rear so here front and rear are present now the rear is connected to the front this is called the circular queue now we will understand the circular queue more with the insertion and deletion so now we are discussing the topic that is insertion and deletion into circular queue so now we are assuming that there is a queue and there are certain elements which are present into the queue like 6 7 3 2 so these are the elements which are present onto the queue that means the front is pointing to the 6 so we are having front 
so front is pointing to the 6 and then we are having rear and rear we are pointing to the 2 now understand one thing there is only one rule of the queue deletion from the front insertion from the rear that will also be followed into the circular queue now let us suppose that i has to insert two more elements into this queue so if i insert here then we are inserting few elements like there are three and nine we want to insert then we know that that should be inserted from the rear side so if i insert the first element which is three and that should be inserted at the rear so rear is shifted so rear is now here if i insert one more element nine then again that is inserted from the rear side and again the rear is shifted so again the rear is shifted here so now the queue is full now this is the time of deletion let us suppose that i want to delete few elements just like six seven and three so now we are deleting few elements so let us suppose that we are deleting the six seven and three so we are deleting all these three elements so now we are deleting the first element which is six and deletion will always be on the front side so now the front is shifted it is shifted to the next element now is the time for deleting the next element which is seven so now the front is shifted so front is shifted to the next element now again we are deleting one more element which is three so now the front is shifted so now the front is pointing to the this element so there the front is pointing to 2 and the rear is pointing to 9 so front is on the 2 element and rear is on the 9 element now if it is a normal queue then obviously we have seen that we cannot insert more elements because rear is on the end but it is a circular queue you can see that rear is connected to the front now we want to insert two more elements here so let us suppose that we want to insert 7 and 12 so we are mentioning here insert 7 and 12 now see how the queue will response now we are going to insert the 7 but we know that the rear side we can insert and this rear is connected to the front side so from here we are coming back to the first block and there on the first block now we are going to insert the 7 so 7 is inserted here and now the rear is shifted so now the rear is shifted from 9 and now it is coming on 7 so on the first block the rear is coming here now that is very interesting we have seen that always the starting of q is a front and on the back side we are having the rear but it is like a snake it is moving and now the rear is coming on this side so it is a completely normal thing now if i has to insert one more element which is 12 so 12 will be inserted after the rear so after the rear we are inserting here and the rear is shifted so now the rear is pointing to 12 so this is how we can insert and delete inside the circular queue now again if i has to delete one element so while deletion the next element which will be considered that will be 2 because from the starting we have to delete and if i just delete from here then 2 will be deleted so from here if i want to delete one element then while deletion we will delete from the front and from the front is pointing to 2 so that means we are mentioning 2 so 2 will be deleted and now front will be shifted to the next element and now front is pointing to the 3 so this is how the rear and front are moving only we should understand one thing that insertion takes place from rear and deletion takes place from the front now the interesting thing is that 
in this circular queue the space is not wasted because if i insert two more elements then rear will be shifted to the maximum category of the circular queue so circular queue always save the space so that is all about the circular queue